Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video guys, we're going to talk about if you have a thousand dollars to spend, where the heck you can go in the world. So my channel guys, as you know, it's all about teaching you how to budget travel, like take your first budget travel trip and then being able to like replicate what you've learned and traveling a lot of times throughout the year because we are about that traveling lifestyle. We want to have our regular life and we also want to be able to travel and go on adventures throughout the year. So I picked a thousand dollars because I know that it's doable for most people even if it takes you a while even a year to save a thousand dollars it's still doable for most people and i think a thousand dollars is a great amount of money to start with if you're now starting your budget traveling journey so you're gonna see a thousand dollars coming up a lot on my channel like doing things for that amount of money and in my video on saturday i'm going to talk about how you can go about saving that thousand dollars so make so make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed so guys, before we begin to make this process super easy, make sure you download my template in the description. It's everything you need to budget for when budget traveling. So make sure you download that because the number one problem that you'll find with budget traveling is that you forget to budget certain things. And then all of a sudden your thousand dollar budget turn in, turns into like 1500 and we don't want that. So make sure you download that because that's what I'll be using in this video. Okay guys, I wanna make it very, very clear. This is just an example video. You don't have to be as cheap as I'm gonna be in this video. Maybe some, maybe for you this is not as cheap, but you don't have to spend how much money on certain aspects of the trip that I'm gonna show you how to spend. You'll see what I mean in a second. But this video is just a template. It's just an example you can use to go about booking your trip for $1,000. Ultimately, you're gonna do what's best for you. I just wanna get you guys started with budget traveling. Okay, so let's go on the computer and start planning that trip for $1,000. All right, guys, so let's start planning that trip for $1,000. The first thing you need to do is go to skyscanner.com to get some flights, okay, to get a flight. So I'm in Orlando right now, so I know the airport. You type in your airport and then you click everywhere. And then you type in the month you would the month you would like to travel. I know I want to travel in September because that's my birthday. So let's type in September to September. Let's see what shows up for that month. Okay, so here are the results. And I would look through and see places that I would actually want to go to. And then I would look down, uh, look at the drop down menu to see uh, the cities in these uh, countries. So Guatemala is going to Guatemala City, Panama, Panama City. Colombia, Medellin. These are actually places that um, I would be interested in going. The Bahamas, Peru. Let's say I would like to, uh, let's do Panama. I've never been to Panama. Let's see what the prices are like. So I'm gonna click from uh, 211. So let's see some dates here. Let's say I wanna go for like a week. Let's see what's showing up here. I don't know, let's pick a random date. I don't know why it's not showing up, but let's see. All right, so it looks like 206 with American Airlines is pretty good. Uh, let's say we chose this flight. It's pretty early. Oh, there's a whole bunch of different flights. So I would probably choose, let's see. This flight looks great here, 9 a.m. Oh, it's a long travel day, but who am I kidding? I would probably do it anyway. <laughs> but let's just say um, this is what we chose. Might choose this one actually, since it's a shorter time. But it's 206, so what I would do is go to my template and type in 206, okay? All of this should actually be deleted. Let's delete them right now. Okay guys, so before you commit to that flight, before you go ahead and book it, what you need to do is come to numbio.com and see exactly how much it's gonna cost you to be in Panama City, from food to activities, to getting around taxis, all of that jazz. So what you do is you type in Panama City, Panama. Make sure it's in US dollars. And now let's see what we're working with. So an inexpensive meal is eight bucks. Um, a beer is 250. So what you would do is look through all of these and see if these prices are right for you. So 25 cents for a one-way ticket, a taxi is 225. 
But the main thing you need to look for is the meals at the restaurants, groceries. I like to buy groceries for breakfast and transportation. So those are the three main things you should look at. Okay, guys, so this is going to be a super rough food budget, but let's keep this simple. So say you spend 10 bucks on the meal, 10 times two, 20 bucks per day times um, seven days. That's $140. And let's say you buy um, $15 worth of groceries, 15 bucks worth of groceries. And let's say you decide to have, uh, one day you decide to go to the cafe. You decide to go there for two days and get like maybe breakfast. So let's say um, you spend five bucks at the cafe for two days and your total is 165. So you type that in your template, 165 for all meals. The next thing you would do is look for how much um, transportation will cost you. So it's saying that um, public transportation is 25 cents, but let's say that you want to take the, use a taxi to get around um, Panama City. And then anyway, you're gonna be, we're gonna book an Airbnb or a hotel that's pretty much near everything so that you don't have to worry too much about transportation. So let's say that you decide to spend 10 bucks a day. This is really, really exaggerating, but let's say you decide to spend 10 bucks a day, 10 times seven is 70 bucks for taxis. Again, this is really exaggerating, but we're gonna go on the higher end just because. So we're gonna put that in transportation, 70 bucks. And so far you have 411 as your total. Now let's go book accommodations. We still have some money left for accommodation. Let's go ahead and book that. So what I would do is type in Panama City, not Florida, Panama City, Panama, and our dates are the 7th, right? September 7th to the 14th, I think that's what I put. September 7th to the 14th. Let's just say it's one of us, could be two. Um, we can start with booking an entire place. Let's see what comes up. Ooh, off the top, this looks great. It's 500 bucks a day. I mean, not a day, 500 bucks total. This looks all right. Let's see how much money we have left. We have about 550 left. So guys, I would look through the Airbnbs and try to find something between um, 400 and $500. I would lower down, let's lower this down to about $65. Let's keep this simple guys. I don't want this video too long. Let's see what's here. It looks great. It actually looks like a lot of space for one person. So this one here is $4.69. Let's say, for example, we decide to pick it. We read all the reviews. The person is super old. We read all the reviews. We looked at all the amenities. Everything looks great. Let's make that assumption to keep this video short. Let's type $4.69 into our template. All right, guys. It looks like we're still on budget. So we have... Uh, um, $90 left for activities and travel insurance. So let's go ahead and look for some travel insurance. Let me close all these tabs. Oh, well, I didn't have time for this, but definitely you can go ahead and look at hotels combined for some um, hotels. I just prefer Airbnbs. That's why I'm always talking about it, but definitely you can just go ahead and book a hotel in that same budget. So here I am at insuremytrip.com. I'm gonna fill everything out really quick. So I'm gonna speed this up. Okay guys, so here's what's coming up for the different insurance um, policies. I would look through all of them and see whatever works for myself. So let's say for example, hey, this one looks great. This one here, Travel X. I have no idea anything about this insurance plan, but let's just say this is great because it looks like the range is like 24, to $94 so it looks like you can get just about any price that works for you here which is great and which is why I love insure my trip but let's say for example um actually let's pick nationwide I've used this um before so let's say we pick nationwide which is $38.32 that's just rounded to 30 um $39 $39 okay guys we're just about there um, the last thing we would have to check in for is visa, vaccines, and a COVID test. And I already know we don't need any visas to get to Panama. But if you're coming from like um, a country in Europe, you would have to check that out. Or anywhere in the world, you would have to check that out. But just to save time, 
um, vaccines. I know I don't have need to have any special vaccines for Panama, but again, if you're coming from a different country, you just have to do that research. And then last thing I would have to look at before activities is the COVID test. And you would just go on the Embassy of Panama to see what the entry and exit requirements are. So I already see here that US citizen, yes, we're allowed to go in. Fully vaccinated passengers needs proof of vaccination. Unvaccinated or and partially vaccinated travelers would need a negative COVID test. And you can get those absolutely free in the United States. And that's why I have it as zero over here. I'm assuming you don't need any supplies. Use what you have, borrow what you don't. Let's just keep it simple and keep it as zero. You're gonna borrow, you're gonna use your the luggage that you currently have or borrow it from your parents or your sister, blah, blah, blah. Supplies are zero. Activities, I don't wanna make this video long. You can go, you still have 50 bucks for activities. 50 bucks, let's just write it in here. But I highly recommend that you do a lot of free activities in Panama City. Spread a little, spend that 50 bucks and go to the museum. So guys, this is it. This is how I would go about booking a seven to 10 day trip if I only had a thousand dollars to spend. It's super simple, it's just math. I really, really hope this video helped you and I really hope it encouraged you to start traveling and making traveling a part of your life because it's definitely doable. And again, my video on Saturday, I'll show you guys how you can go about saving that thousand dollars. If you have any questions about this trip planning process, don't be shy, leave it in the comments in the description. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.